Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today, we are playing Medieval 2 Total War, carrying on with our English campaign, of course, where we face off with a massive Danish army. Commanded by Captain Haldor, it comprises of dismounted feudal knights, archers, Norse, axemen, you name it. Not many cavalry. There's only one cavalry unit here. We got ambushed by a small Danish force around this area in last episode, and the main might of Denmark is now coming onto us. It says the balance of power is quite even with a very small percentage just in their favor however henry the honorable fielding primarily missile units to be honest we are lacking in infantry and cavalry but hopefully we can repel the danish invaders let's get into it honor and glory await england here we are quite a plain battlefield not much advantage can be taken there's a very small incline over here and again, they are coming to us as well, aren't they? So perhaps we could mount ourselves or deploy ourselves on this little ridge here. It would give our archers and our missile units a bit of a slight advantage. There's no point deploying the spikes here as well, seeing as they are lacking in cavalry anyway. We could potentially put our spears behind them and then our stronger troops on the flanks. We'll probably stick some armoured swordsmen over on this flank here to try and come around from the side hopefully get them on that side we'll get the billmen on this side as well i'm thinking what else are we missing here more spearmen we'll get in as a reserve just behind those mercenary spearmen and then the rest is just cavalry of which there's only two units of these male knights but the experience they have is absolutely incredible absolutely incredible so let's start the battle that is a lot of danish troops that is a lot of Danish troops. Hopefully, hopefully, we can get a lot of kills using our archers. Now, I'm going to bring the cavalry around on this side. Oh, actually, hang on a second. You guys just stay there for a second. Let's actually see what's on each flank of these guys. Denmark, what, what do these look like? I'll say that. They're Norse axemen. Archers there, I'm assuming. Yep, Norse archers. What about on this side? Axemen, axemen, archers. Where are those feudal... Dismounted feudal knights. They are in the centre. Okay, so no matter which side we attack from, we are probably going to have to go... Sh Actually, let's go straight in on this side. They are charging straight towards us. Let's get these cav this cavalry on this side because we have only one unit, strong unit of armoured swordsmen here with the other side having two units of billmen. Now, our archers should hopefully be in range very soon. Okay, they're still not in range yet. But very soon, these guys over here must be in range. Okay, the crossbow are in range. They will be going for these Norse archers on this side. They are fielding a lot of archers, it seems, just as we are. Now, let's get all of our cavalry running. Now, what are, what are they going to do here? Are they going to charge in with their infantry? Or are they just going to try and use up all of their archer units like we are doing ourselves? We are destroying them, but what I'd like to do, actually, is get these... Dismounted feudal knights, dismounted feudal knights. I want the crossbows on those dismounted feudal knights. The horse, the Norse archers aren't actually too much of a concern for us. But as they charge in, what I want to do actually is just retreat these archers behind those guys. So let's just highlight them and we'll bring them behind the other guys as soon as they've decided to charge in on us. Our cavalry is in position to so go and charge into those Norse archers. It looks as though they are going for the other flank, which is probably beneficial to us and you guys you guys go back right now you guys go back they've left quite a large opening here the cavalry's coming in the cavalry's coming they've left quite a large large opening here they're going for the left flank primarily but the cavalry's coming in and hopefully we can kill the commander hopefully we can kill the commander the commander's here you guys go into them you guys go into them let's surround that commander that's it. You guys have all just charged into them. The rest of you guys, I want... Oh, has the crossbowmen been engaged? No, they have not. Okay, interesting. They've broken. One unit's already broken. Spearmen, you guys go and charge into them. You guys go and charge into them. I want you guys. You guys can charge into them. You guys can charge onto them. Perfect. Now, there's two units of dismounted Huskars on this side, so hopefully we can actually repel them as best as possible. Now, you guys, I want all of you on them. Dismounted Feudal Knights. Norse archers, Norse archers. And we've got the commander. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Now, can we go from left to right? Can we kind of just go charging into the side? 
This mighty feudal knights are just waiting for us there. I'd like to try and get our... Oh... No, we need to get those horse, horse archers. Leave them. You're not really doing much, are you, over there? Now, this side has routed. Actually, you guys bring yourselves in. I want all of you on them. All of you on them. They're actually charging in. Let's leave the archers now. Let's leave the archers. Let's bring the cavalry back into the main fight. Another route in there. Another route in there. Let's bring the crossbows and the archers together a bit more on this side where it's a bit safer. They seem to have broken our left flank, which is fine. What we're going to do now is just charge the cavalry down. They're shaking. They should hopefully break soon. These guys are wavering and shaking. This mountain feudal knight are the issue for us at the moment. Oh, and that flank's just broken there. And they have just broken as well. This doesn't look good for us. This does not look good for us. What's on them? Okay, you need to go on this side. Come on, we need our archers to actually engage in these guys now. We need our archers to actually engage. Let's try and regroup all of our units. Why are you guys not firing? Why are you guys not firing? Just fire. Just fire. Run back here. Run back here. They're getting chased down. That's fine. What have, What's actually regrouped? The billmen and the spearmen here. Oh, and they are charging into our... They're charging into our crossbowmen. Come on. Okay, you guys. I want all of you. Onto them. Onto them. It seems as though we may lose this one. It seems as though we may lose this one. You guys charge them down. Come on. What are they? Norse Axemen. Crossbow Militia. Get the crossbow militia. Get the crossbow militia. All the Norse archers. There we go. Get them in there. Come on, guys. Come on. Our archers. There we go. They've broken. Perfect. Norse archers are actually in the fray and dealing damage. Now, why are you guys running? I forgot to turn the skirmish off. Dismounted Huskars, I want all of you onto them. All of you onto them. Right now. You Norse axemen. Oh, it's ar yeah, the archers are there. Come on, guys. Come on. Foolish general has thrown his Only half the enemy force remains. Henry is dead. Henry lies dead on the battlefield. Retreat. Retreat back and reform. Retreat and reform. We have lost so many lives unnecessarily with this battle. You guys go on the Norse archers. Or the dismounted horse guards, actually. Our general is running. Well, the general himself isn't running. But the units themselves are. It seems as though we have got a mass rout on our hands. So rather than taking casualties, let's just get them all to rout. Withdraw. Withdraw. Why can you not withdraw? What's going on? You guys stop. You guys stop. Okay, you guys don't actually want to withdraw, so you're going to just have to fight to the death, it seems. You can probably get quite a few kills, really. Looking at this. Norse archers, we don't need to worry about. You guys can go and kill them. You can't withdraw. Oh, it's because we've got attacks, didn't we? And they've just routed. They've just routed. What have we got left? It's just the archer units. Dismounted Huskars, you attack them. You attack them. So, looking at the battlefield at the moment, all of the actual infantry is running and trying to chase our routers down, which is perfect because what they've just done is left them missile units to be cleaned up. So we could, and, and these guys can't retreat, and these guys seem actually, they want to keep fighting. They're winded and steady, most of them, and it seems as though we're actually breaking a lot of these guys down. We might actually just win this. Let's win it for Henry. So we've managed to rout all of the missile units, and the only thing that we are facing up against now is the infantry. Now, they have been running and chasing our routers. They should be exhausted. Our guys, on the other hand, have plenty of ammunition left, and also much range onto them. Now, a lot of us can actually fire on them. Pretty much all of them, besides the peasant archers. So we should get a lot of casualties. A lot of Danish casualties, that is. And we could still win this battle. The favours have turned in our advantage. Oh, look at that rain. Look at that. Not as many deaths as what I would have liked. Now, they are charging. But honestly, before they even get close to us, I think a lot of the army is going to wither away. Yeah, 
With the crossbows as well, it's perfect. It is perfect. Dismounted feudal knights, go for them. 23, 29, 28. Come on. Come on. That's it, that's it. That's it. Wavering. Wavering. Get these dismounted feudal knights here. This is all that's left of the Danish army. The rest of them have routed. And we far outnumber them. And also... Oh my god. They've broken. And we've just won. Pursue and run them down. We've just won. We're going to have to end it. This is a clear oh, God. That, goes to only men of great virtue and valor. that was... I mean, I would like to say that was close, but... We've lost Henry. Was that worth it? I don't think it was, to be honest. We've killed a lot of their units. But have we killed enough, to be honest, to actually... 84%? We needed 85 Ah, that's annoying. But that's fine. That'll hopefully give them time to retreat and not attack us any longer. Up until we can retrain a sufficient army to go and attack the Danes, I think. I think this has been a lesson to not underestimate the Danish enemy. We need infantry, we need knights, and we need a good mix of troops. Now, I'm going to release... Actually, no, ransom them. I'm assuming they would have executed our troops. Okay. Their mark are also running back. Are they going to try and get off the British Isles? Let's chase them down. The man of the hour, Captain Edmund. That would have been from that army there, wouldn't it? That would have been from that Edmund. That would have been from there. It was perfect. Thieves Guild, absolutely. A new threat. News has spread from merchants of the Far East who speak in great fear of a fierce warlord from Mongolia named Genghis Khan who has amassed an unstoppable horde of cavalry. These Mongols are reportedly sweeping across Transoxania at a frightening rate and look set on continuing westward, either north or south of the Caspian Sea. Interesting. Wait. The city is bereft of a proper place of worship. The Pope wishes you build a small church in this city in Bruges. Absolutely. Ask no more. Where is he? He's over here. There you go. Simple. Now there's a French assassin there and you're looking at Thomas Window, aren't you? You did get Thomas Window. No, you didn't. He's over here. Prince Alfgar, he's there. Where's Thomas Window? He's there. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Cardinal promoted. Congratulations to you all. Faction announcements. Died a noble death in battle. May he rest in peace. Unfortunately. Oh, Dublin's upgraded. Get an upgrade there. And also Edinburgh, from what I remember, is able to be upgraded. Perfect. Yes. Henry, did he have any children? Did he actually manage to have any children? He did not. <gasps> no. It's actually quite annoying because the true succession in real life from King William went down to Henry. And the only one who didn't have any children and has now died. That's really frustrating. That's really annoying, but nevertheless, we crack on. Now, Edmund, you go there for a second and just build a watchtower. Now we can see Hamburg. Wow. Danish Citadel. That is a huge, huge settlement. Wow. Okay. Now burn. Burn, burn, burn. Faction leader is there. Do we just push on or do we wait for this army here? Let's get a spy down here. What else are you fielding? Right, if he... Okay, he can only go down here. If he moves this way, and not backwards, he's going for Stalfen. And then we'll... we'll oh, actually, three turns for them. We can actually retrain the Dismounted Feudal Knights here, from what I remember. We can indeed. There we go. Now, we can, re we can actually make more Dismounted Feudal Knights there, but... Let's actually get the stables after this. Although, can we get the... We can, perfect. Right, hang on a second. Hang on a second. You can go in there. Can we retrain them? We can. This is all just coming together very nicely. Very nicely, indeed. The rest of you guys can stay there for the time being. Armoured swordsmen are... Can be retrained in four turns, but they're maxed out anyway. Now, this Danish threat. Do we deal with them swiftly? 
I think it would be rude not to, to be honest. So, on that note, you can go in there. You can go in there. Now, you can definitely go in there because you're not free. And you can go in there as well. Attack rate goes down. You are happy. We're all happy. And you guys are taking the fight. Very interesting. Only one unit of cavalry. Archers. And the rest... Yeah. I don't know why... They've gone, they've gone for this battle, unless they can't actually retreat anywhere else, which is understandable, but let's get into it. Glory to your name, sir. We are here. A very pleasant sunset. On the battlefield, facing us in front, is the Danes. Now, they will be coming towards us. Yep. Yeah, can read them like a book. Cavalry. Mailed knights, mailed knights. Why can't we get all you? There we can. Right. Nope. Hang on. There we go. Forgot the keyboard hotkeys then. You guys go over here. Smash into the side of them when they advance. Spearman. I want you to make a very thin line there. Just in front of them. The general himself, Robert. I believe it's Robert. Can watch in awe as we destroy this Danish force. Norse archers progressing forward. Well, I'd like to say some of them are. Some of them are making a permanent scene on the battlefield. Now they're reloading. Yep, they are. Perfect. Get the cavalry a bit more on this side. Now these horse archers, I don't want them going for them. Go for a town militia dismounted. Yeah, go for the dis dismounted feudal knights. Leave those horse archers. Leave those horse archers. We should just be able to overwhelm the enemy here. The sheer quantity of cavalry that we've got. Come on. Okay, here we go. The charging in. The charging in. I want you guys going for the Norse archers again. Cavalry's charging in. Come on, come on. These spear militia may break. But we just need to break these Norse archers before. Just before. Come on. Broken. And he's... The general's broken. The general's broken. Come on. Right, smash into the back of those dismounted feudal knights. There you go. They've broken. Archers, just stop and move backwards. There we go. Overwhelm the enemy. Always works. They are wavering. They are steady. Let's just get these cavalry onto the left side. What are these? Town militia. We could probably get a few prisoners here, to be honest. They yep, they've broken. The rest of you guys go for them. Wavering in three. Uh, broken in three, two, one. Now. No. There we go. You can chase them down. What has... Le what's left? You guys go back for the town militia. We'll get the cavalry on the Norse archers. You can just run up there. The commander has now come back. Oh, and we've left... We've left these guys... We've left these guys. Let's deploy the stakes. Oh, we can't deploy the stakes. Not yet. Could have, should have done that before the battle. Should have done that before the battle. Oh, Henry. Come and help. Henry. Uh, you guys go for them. Perfect. They've broken. You guys go for them. And you guys go for those Norse archers. You need to run. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue come on. Like this, They're going to lose quite a you. lot. Yeah. Shaken. Come on, they're steady. Henry's going in there. Henry should have them. That's it, you can go and chase them down. Perfect. We've basically lost all of our longbowmen, which is fine. You go and chase them down. They are wavering. We should be able to get the general. Or the captain, sorry. Where is he? He must be on the front line. He is. Perfect. And they have been killed. Now, we might as well end it. There's nowhere for them to run. So, now we just have to regenerate a good army, probably from Metz, and advance it onward to the Danish citadel of Hamburg. Total ransom. They're going to reject it. Yeah. So, they're dead. Enemy army. Trade increase, trade increase. Perfect. Now, this army, let's remerge, let's merge them all together. There we go. You guys can merge into them. Perfect. 
Now, you can stay there. You can make your way down towards London and we'll yes. ferry you guys across onto the continent where those troops are very much needed. We need those troops much more on the continent. Now, looking onto Portugal. Honestly, I think what we were discussing in last episode, I'm going to sacrifice Bordeaux. Whilst the Citadel is heavily unguarded, capitalising on that should be the key priority. And we can also get some mercenaries here as well, just in case there is a, a Portuguese army lying in wait. But it only seems that there is one unit here. I think a trade of Bordeaux, which is just a castle, for Pamplona, which is a citadel, is a very, very good trade on our half. Also, the Moors. Now, Arab cavalry, ballista. I honestly don't know what you guys think you're doing. This just doesn't seem wise. It doesn't seem wise. But we are now directly at war with the Moors. So at least there's that, I guess. Where is our navy? Have a look around here. What's going on around here? Milanese, Milanese merchant. Our house is quite guarded. Faction leader King Charles himself is lying there. Oh, are we going to actually destroy a Danish fleet? Incredible. We could go for the Danish city of Stockholm, actually. They might not see that. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. That could actually divide them into two locations. Granted, it's not really that lucrative. Although, looking at the mines here, it could definitely be lucrative. Oh, is that the economic powerhouse of Denmark? It could well be. But the Polish are here as well. Oh, we could potentially go for Stockholm. I think we might do that, you know. I think we might do that. That might actually be a very wise move on our half. We need to take our navy back, though. We'll get this Danish navy, and then we'll retreat back to London, rebuild, and get a small contingent force led by a general, possibly Robert, although he is getting on a bit. So we'll have to bear that in mind if we do decide to use him. Now, looking elsewhere across the empire, let's try and get some infrastructure sorted. We don't have too much money it seems i'd rather not waste it on unnecessary thing we need the cat uh, the church in there to please the pope antwerp hello merchant's wharf or roads i'm gonna go for the paved roads i'm gonna go for the paved roads because having paved roads all the way over to denmark's territory would be very beneficial granted it proves beneficial for them as well for them to come down but hey ho it is what it is roads in there rims nothing in there Mets we've just captured so we could possibly retrain some stuff there perfect leather tanner we'll get the communal farming in there actually no 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 I've been mentioning chapels and churches and god knows what else for a lot of turns we're going to be doing them retrain those we have lost vision over there because of our spy moving away we also have an assassin around here that we need to sort out so Let's move this spy down here. Now we have Burn and Dijon. Perfect. Perfect. Now, funds are drying up. So I think this is all we can do at the moment in this turn. So hopefully the Moors will attack us next turn because they've got siege engines. And hopefully the Portuguese do as well. Or they might actually retreat and attack us here. Although... We could have probably attacked that, killed them off, and then go. But that would have taken a few more turns, which would allow them to train decent troops. Am I second-guessing myself? No, we're going to go for it. The assassin that awaits down here. Go and kill that captain. Oh, it's a stab in the back. It's a stab in the back, and it is successful with a trait increase for him. Perfect. Let's move around this way. Moorish diplomat. We can go for the Moors as well now. Name the there is a very large Spanish army. I'm kind of hoping that... Oh, we've lost vision. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I'm kind of hoping the Moors do attack us now because the Spanish and the Moors are allies and I really want them to run away so we can train some decent troops into lose. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, they're merging forces. Very large French army moving down towards Toulouse. Interesting. I wonder where they're going. Now, where is this Holy Roman Empire main army going? There they are. We can see this diplomat running around there and a priest slash cardinal moving down here. But where is the army going? What army's going away? Oh, are they attacking Poland? 
That army is moving slightly closer to us. Slightly closer. The reinforcing burn. Yes, they are. The reinforcing burn. Do we capitalize on the weakness of burn right now or do we wait? I don't want to overstretch ourselves. I really don't want to overstretch ourselves. Lots of uh, moving around. Ooh. Two Danish navies there. Candidate for adoption. Um, No, sorry. You can have a child instead. Now. There, that's a very large navy. Can we take them out? Can we take them out? We can't. And they sunk two ships. That isn't good. You guys go there. Let's get some hulks. Get some hulks in there. And you. Ooh, ballista towers. Very nice. Let's get some hulks here as well. Costing us a bit. We're getting six hulks along with retraining this army here. Should be able to repel the Danish navy that resides over there. Hopefully that is anyway. Now you run back to Antwerp. Can we retrain some things? We can get the spear militia and the peasant archers. But the rest of it will have to go to Metz. Now. We... In Bruges, got a chapel. So the Pope is now happy. Perfect. Does that put us up any what? Into one. Okay, just to one. Interesting. Diplomat has died. New family member. Trait increase and retinue. Prince Alfgar the Wrathful. Okay. Oh, the Portuguese have retreated. The Portuguese have retreated. They've gone into Pamplona. I think they've realized the threat. They've realized the threat. Now, what are we lacking in right now? Infantry. We could probably do with some more infantry here. We're going to get those. Look at the size of that settlement. That is amazing. If we can get that. Now, they may attack us. And these might sally forth. The general. It's just a general. It's not a faction leader, faction heir, anything. Okay. So, that must mean the other guys are in the settlement over here. The large city that is Lisbon. The Moors haven't given up. And they are attritioning us down. I don't want to advance towards them. Although, actually, it's just a lot of crossbows, isn't it? Well, this is why I'm thinking if they attack us with crossbows, possibly next turn, we should be able to destroy them. We should just be able to destroy them. I mean, I don't, I don't understand what they're doing. But anyway, get some armoured swordsmen here. We'll move those troops up towards Antwerp and we'll use that force to go and wipe Denmark off the map, I think. I think that's what we do. Now, this force only moves slightly. So, how close are we to attack Burn? And then they are two turns away. So, actually, hang on a second. You go there. I want all of you guys to join him. Please. Thank you. And then want these guys to all join. Because this is a fortress. This is... Oh, this is a fortress as well. Ooh, we could do with some levy spearmen as well. What is on the walls? This might be feudal knights. This might be feudal knights. Have we got a spy in there? We've not. Oh, okay. My king. Let's move yes. down here. Our if we see this army come closer, we won't attack Burn. Power. We won't attack Burn. I don't want to... I want to get a levy spearman here. Let's retrain them too. Okay. Because I don't want to just get terrible troops just for the sake of it. I'd rather wait for those barracks to be trained and then we can get armoured swordsmen. And then possibly get the feudal knights as well after that. Once... We've got those spearmen and those other troops retrained. Chapel goes down in Met. Rems, Rem, Rem. Tavern, Abbey. Ballista maker, leather, tanner, irrigation, and mining. I'm going to set... Oh, we can bump the tax rate up, can we? We can't. Very high? No, just high. Now, we are making a lot of money each turn. You're on a low tax rate. Let's bump you up to a high, t a normal tax rate. We'll get the roads in there and then the Merchant's Wharf. And possibly the fairground for a bit of more financial income. Hail Robert is king. there and he's awaiting the his glory, transport I over the English well. Channel to come and join the rest of the guys over in the continent. Now, Merchant's Wharf there. We'll get the Merchant's Wharf there. Can? And you get the market. Perfect. Can we bump the tax rate up a bit? We'll go to a high tax rate. We are needing this tax, guys. We've got a lot of wars going on right now. A lot of wars indeed. Now, the tax rate over here is low. But not up to normal. We'll get the Merchant's Wharf and possibly the Fairground there as well. They have stopped attacking Bordeaux as well, which is very good for us. Very good indeed. Where are they going? Will they attack us here? Let's find out. Assassin moves around there. That French army merges back into Dijon. Oh no, it's ambushing itself in the forests. Okay. That's good to know, actually. 
if we were to go and attack Dijon with a smaller contingent, we might have been destroyed by that ambushy. Lots of cardinals and priests roaming around here. Now, where? That's an inquisitor there as well. Looks as though they're reinforcing some of their settlements. There's a Holy Roman Navy there, which is um, interesting how they've managed to get a navy there, to be honest. And they have attacked us. They've actually gone for this. Now, the balance of power is significantly in our favour, to be honest. Again, they are just attacking with crossbows. Arab cavalry. I don't understand. Yeah, this is... Um, this should be an easy defense for the first time we've been attacked by the Moors. But on that note, everyone, we are going to leave it there. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments. And I will see you all in the next one.